doctor pack here. Real doctor. Doctor comes from the Latin word, whatever, editor, enter the word. The word doctor is derived from the Latin verb docere, meaning to teach or a scholar. Which means to teach. Nice try, physicians. We'll see you again next year. Here with the New Year's resolution that you can apply whenever you want, even if it's not actually the start of the new year. We need this video to be timeless. So if you're watching this and it's not New Year's Eve or New Year's Eve is not approaching, you can still actually use it to set new goals and reach new heights in your life. If there's one thing or actually two things that you should be consistently doing for the next as many years as you stay alive is to consistently walk and lift. Walking and lifting, super, super simple. Not necessarily extremely easy to do for everyone, but still easy enough for you to incorporate in your life to a certain extent. Let's start. And this is, this is almost like a sales pitch for walking and lifting. And I'll start first with walking. It's time to sell you walking. All right, obviously walking, super simple super accessible. You don't need any equipment. All you need is two legs. Walking benefits. All right, let's start listing. And this is me selling you walking. Lowering blood pressure, improved cholesterol levels, blood sugar control, improved sleep and better sleep quality, improvements in immune function, and potentially some psychological benefits through social connections, you know, if you're walking with somebody else and potentially some slight effect on uh, depression and anxiety. But more importantly, longevity. Walking can allow you to live longer. If we look at any of the scientific evidence, and we have a lot of scientific evidence looking at all cause mortality, as well as cardiovascular mort mortality or cancer mortality and walking, we see that even with 2000 steps per day, there is a significant decrease in all cause mortality versus much less than that. There's been some new meta-analytic data out that shows that around 8000 steps per day maybe somewhat of a sweet spot as far as reductions in all cause mortality go. But if we look at other meta-analytic data, around the 10,000 steps per day mark seems to be bang on for most ages. It seems to be like a relatively fail safe way for you to actually get a lot of the benefits that walking has to offer. If we look at some of the data on just exercise in general and more specifically aerobic exercise, if we want to call it that, or cardio, as some lifters call it. When we look at moderate versus vigorous physical activity for health, guidelines show that you can maximize, you can actually achieve the greatest risk reduction for all-cause mortality by either doing 150 to 300 minutes of vigorous uh, physical activity per week or 300 to 600 minutes of moderate physical activity per week. If you're hitting roughly 10,000 steps per day or doing your best to average that, it's likely that you will be well within the 300 to 600 minute range as far as moderate physical activity goes, which allows you to be on top of your health in a relatively stress-free and easy to incorporate in your life uh, manner. Keep in mind that every little bit counts. As I mentioned, even at 2,000 steps per day, there was a meaningful decrease in risk for all-cause mortality. And even if you're just managing to average somewhere between five and 7,000 steps a day, you are definitely doing much better than not doing any form of walking. Obviously, if you're somebody who enjoys running, cycling, anything that is slightly uh, higher intensity, and you have the, the time, energy, and so on and so forth, and you wanna do that, you can do that and combine it with walking or do exclusively that if that's what you love. But obviously, if you've clicked on this video, you know that we're about to sell you walking. Personally, walking is also a great way to get to be productive while also getting my cardio, my health work done. So I live in a, in a city where I'm able to walk places and get errands done, go to the gym and so on and so forth. So incorporating, if you're able to incorporate walking in your daily life like that, let's say walking your dog or taking a walk with your kids or going to the supermarket or whatever, you can sort of kill two birds with one stone, which we're also selling by the official Dr. Pack stone in the description to kill as many birds as you like. To sum up, overall walking, 
is easy to do, doesn't require any equipment, only requires you to spend some time doing it, but you can accumulate steps throughout the day by making sure you're physically active and it can do wonders for your physical health and to a certain extent, even for your mental health. It's an easy way for you to stay on top of your fitness game. And more importantly, for individuals that have not been exercising in the past and who may be feeling intimidated and want to actually get into exercise, walking is a great way to do that. Walking doesn't require much psychological preparation. There's not a huge level of discomfort unless you're absolutely like trash as far as fitness goes. And you can easily incorporate it at least at low doses during the first months of the new year or whatever. Don't be the guy or girl who says, I want to be healthier. I'm going to start running because that's the thing everybody seems to be doing when they want to get healthier. Finding yourself in a position where running is way too hard to sustain. You're not enjoying it. You go for a few runs, you force them, and then you end up not doing it because it's just way too hard. Start walking, get some of your steps in, do your best to get close to the 10,000 steps per day mark. Although that it's not like if you get 7,000 steps in, you're not getting any health benefits. We already covered that. And now we have walking. That's one piece of the puzzle. The other piece of the mega health, uber human uh, puzzle is lifting. And yes, I will be selling you lifting very hard, not just for increases in muscle mass and strength. I'm sure you're, you already know that lifting weights is the most efficient way for you to increase muscle mass and strength. Obviously lifting weights means doing some form of resistance training, even if that's you lifting your own body weight or using a specific machine or free weights or cables or whatever. Let's have a very brief look at what the literature has to say for lifting and health benefits. So any form of lifting compared to no resistance training, so any amount of resistance training compared to no resistance training is enough to decrease the risk for all-cause mortality by 15%, the risk for cardiovascular disease by around 19%, and cancer mortality by 14%. Keep in mind that that's any amount. With risk reduction peaking at, drum roll please, 60 minutes per week of resistance training, where we're looking at 27% decrease of risk for all-cause mortality. So we're essentially talking about an hour a week of lifting, being able to, as you've probably seen in this channel already with our minimum dose videos, if you haven't, links in bio or somewhere here, I'm not sure, check them out. 60 minutes per week is enough to get you solid strength and muscle mass gains and maximize some of the potential health benefits that you can get from resistance training. There's even a classic paper called Resistance Training is Medicine. Resistance training is generally a, a powerhouse as far as health benefits go. And it is arguably slightly more important for people that are aging than aerobic training itself. Cause you can get some of the benefits of aerobic training from resistance training, especially if you're doing higher intensity of uh, higher intensity sort of stuff where you're like not resting as long and you're doing plenty of resistance training. But some of the benefits of resistance training, you can't really get from aerobic training. For example, increases in uh, muscle mass, uh, muscle strength and bone mineral density. Uh, obviously compared to resistance training. However, a lot of people don't engage in consistent resistance training and miss out on all the benefits that it has to offer, which as you can see, don't really need that much of a time commitment. So the best gift you can give to yourself at any point is to start walking more. Even a few thousand steps more than you were doing before can meaningfully improve your health and lifting something a few times per week, hitting that minimum of 60 minutes per week mark. You don't need to overthink the details, just make sure that you are progressing and lifting more weight over time, as well as keeping things relatively intense as far as your proximity to failure goes. So make sure that you are pushing yourself during every set and having to you know, grind out a few reps here and there. To further sell you both modalities, combining aerobic and resistance training has a better effect on all-cause mortality, cardiovascular disease, cancer, type 2 diabetes, obesity, uh, and metabolic syndromes versus either of those modalities alone. And there's even data on people with type 2 diabetes where they looked at whether aerobic or resistance training is better, 
with resistance training actually being better than just aerobic training alone at managing um, blood sugar. This new year or this new period, just make sure that you walk a bit more than you used to before, get your heart lifting in, and it's likely that you're taking a lot of boxes as far as your health and longevity go. Keep in mind, obviously, that walking and going for hikes and whatever it comes with a lot of other benefits you will be fitter as a person and obviously lifting will also make you more jacked and stronger which are also super cool just get your steps and your lifts in please for the love of god and that's why i'm a real doctor i just saved i don't even know how many lives please don't forget to like subscribe hit the notification bell, see you at my personal clinic, which is my house, which I hope I don't see you in. And I will see you all on the next video next week here at your favorite channel, favorite real doctor, the pediatricians, the physicians. Peace.